Hello, welcome back to Blender Studio Live. In this episode, I will be exploring Zen Tangles inside Blender. Uh, it's gonna we're gonna be doing it in two D and three D. So, what is uh, Zen Tangles? As you can see, this is uh, these are some examples of Zen Tangles that everyone's doing. Uh, there are a lot of Zen Tangles. There are actually infinite varieties of Zen Tangles. Um, it's almost like a kind of like a drawing quilt on shapes, or you can making it. You can make it like inside the shapes. You can make it on any pattern, almost like a shader in 3D. I think lots of 3D people maybe think in shaders and then procedural shaders. And Zentangle is kind of that, but you are doing it uh, by drawing and doodling. I don't think many people do this. Maybe some do that, but yeah, let's see the definition of Zentangles according to ChatGPT. The word Zentangle combination of zen meditation tangle abstract pattern created developed by rick roberts and maria thomas in the early 21st century so it is quite modern so it's a collection of structured pattern meditative no erasers we just draw and doodle use 3.5 square okay we can break uh, this rule minimalist relaxing yeah anyone can do it anywhere Use black and white actually, uh, just black ink on white paper. That's uh, you know, that's the way to go. I think the the easiest to do it is using grease pencil. This one is actually using uh, geometry notes, but let's start with the grease pencil first. The easiest, if you want, you can go straight to two D animations, and you're gonna have the the white canvas, right? This is the white canvas, white screen frame. You can change the framing. Maybe 1080 by 1080, so you have square, and the way you draw Zentangle, uh, you just mark. I read the books the other day, and you mark four dots. You start by doing that, and then you 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 connect the dots. So this is a uh, one approach. The the simplest of Zentangles, and you actually start doodling. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, you some zentangles you know can might have spirals and i don't know if there's rules if you can overlap or you cannot overlap but uh, this you can start by doing something like this and you perhaps want to switch to switch gear and do a different one some zentangles actually have uh, some kind of shading into it um, and the, the pattern is actually, uh, if you think of it, it's almost like, uh, what you can find in nature, right? It could be like, uh, animal skins or could be like, uh, if you walk into the forest, you can see leaves and then you can see like, uh, branches of trees. So it's really, um, I think it's very uh, the, the basic of human nature is to to create and to draw, and some people might think, okay, but I cannot draw. Sorry, but I don't hey Siri, <laughs> cancel that. Uh, so we can really just doodling. You know, it's very minimalistic approach, and everyone can do this. It's meditative. There is no mistakes. You don't need to erase. You just keep going with this. So, it's a bunch of lines. You can add shapes inside shapes. And just, uh, I think part of the uh, interesting part is like uh, you're doing this, uh, like uh, repetitions. Kind of, and you're drawing patterns. So, this one is almost like a cell. This one, like uh, leaves. Uh, and also, the one, the popular one is like. This one that looks like uh, some kind of bacteria, maybe a good bacteria, um, kind of like a half zen thing. Like uh, it's almost like water, but it's also like a spirit. And you just f fit everything inside this pattern, right? And in Blender, this this thing is actually three D. <laughs> so that's one interesting part about it. And then remember, right-click, convert to curve, 
we'll turn it into a curve and oh sorry it's so bright because the background is super white uh, you can we can always change the background into different color okay it's no longer white on black it can be any color so this line is a curve and the curve with a curve we can do things like you can extrude but you can also add depth and if it's a depth you know we can always we can always turn it into balloon And remesh that right after we remesh smooth shading right click convert to mesh and then in sculpt mode we can turn it into balloon this is kind of a extra processing we don't need to do this is it doesn't seem to look like an zentangle anymore but uh, you might actually see there is some kind of uh, interesting pattern emerging and there's because it's balloony balloony method some part that's close together becoming these interesting bubbles the rest of them just stay as, as it is it's a it's making us like a strong structure so this is blender zentangles so three three things right in blender this is actually very much blender this is grease pencil this is curve curve objects that you can you can actually uh modify this curve it's not just uh, something that you you add depth. I mean, you can add depth and then give some kind of resolution so it's more rounded. To do to do the same thing the hard way, <laughs> let's get rid of this. So it's becoming back into curve. The resolution we don't know the resolutions, but we can use geometry nodes, right? Don't be afraid of geometry nodes. We're just gonna use. A simple one so every time I'm doing my video I'm assuming that everyone is new to blender and you can do this in just few seconds so I just uh, doing like curve to mesh and you know like basically extruding a circle inside this thing you can you can randomize the radius things like that uh, so set radius but maybe resample the curve beforehand resample so see this is resampling now the zentangle is a little bit low poly increase it a little bit okay based on the length is better and then we can set radius set curve radius okay so we have full total control on this random value i always like random value just test test out render random value and see what you get so so extra bonus for your zentangle make the smaller value you get this bubbly zentangles because we are doing it in 3d remember so every curve every strokes actually uh, becoming something um, so if you want, uh, you can also do these zentangles on top of objects. Maybe Suzanne. Oops, uh, what did I do? I press two. Now I lost everything. Huh. So this is, I think, to switch to different layer. Anyway, this guy, Suzanne. I just control two and shade smooth and subdivide it. You can apply these subdivisions, but anyway. Uh, Shift A, create a new curve Bezier, go to edit mode, go into the draw mode and check the surface. We can we can offset the curve. Um, but yeah, just just start doodling. Okay. We have four curve drawn on Suzanne and I will add a geometry nodes modifier and we have our complex zentangles oh we don't want to say complex it's actually really simple okay 
Oh, by the way, with this curve, I want I want to always fill the caps. In this case, fill the caps, just to fill the end, so it's uh, it doesn't have hole. And let's continue with our zentangles. So with zentangles, uh, at the moment it's uh, the materials like uh, the basic uh, the base material is which is like a gray. Let's set the material as well. Set material, and then give it a. Assign it a, a material, new material, maybe a black, black material. I want to see the material, so maybe switch to this one. Oh, let's keep it simple. Roughness. Why is it so bright? Okay, let's see. I think by default we might have color management happening color management oh no it's already off oh well the spiral one is my favorite okay maybe my curve is too thick at the moment so reduce that reduce this Spiral like a snail. You can also like draw like a like a sushi on top from the top view. This is a, like a sushi. Oh, salmon sushi. So you are free to do a lot of things with zentangles. There's also like a the one that's like a like a flower. Oh, I keep throwing spiral. Uh, okay, okay, this is a typical typ typical flower. So, yeah, I, I really believe that our brain is really designed to do this. Like, people might think, okay, yeah, but that's really basic, right? Actually, it's not really basic. Uh, making this type of pattern is uh, quite intelligent. And the fact that we can just make infinite varieties. Okay, this one is almost like a like a Tetris kind of pattern. We actually take this for granted and we forgot that we can actually, we can actually doodle. Because nowadays with, uh, with AI art, <laughs> many people, some people like, love AI art, some don't like. I I'm in the middle. If you do it the right way, AI art is amazing. But I think, People start to think, you know, about art again, and so what what human can do manually is already pretty amazing. For example, look at the manga artists can create like an epic manga that's turned into anime, into live actions. Uh, manga itself is like storyboard, but there's actually a lot more in it. It has story as well and the character and you know the drawings of the the drawings by the manga artist is which is very personal and it has its own style infinite almost like infinite varieties of mangas being created right so that's in itself that's pretty incredible and we actually take it for granted nowadays if you're doing 3d 3d is more i think more collaborative uh, and Someone's designed the character, and the character become a puppet-like three D objects, and then, and then someone animated, you know, collaborations, which is nice. But uh, the character 
also can be reused in video games so, so someone else can take the character and then play with it like a yeah like a video game character the character is already pre-made and then you play the characters and then some actually start to make like a what do they call it uh, i forgot yeah machinima yeah people reusing the character for, from video games and then turn it into a different story yeah like fictional character things like that but you know back back to zentangles here you can you can do zentangles using just crisp and so uh, the nice thing about uh using geometry nodes curve is that whenever we draw something you can see the curve behind becoming just dots the one at the front is if you can see this guy clearly it might get confusing at times but it's it's, almost, it's like it's almost like drawing on the star in the sky and while doing this you can listen to music <laughs> not just like me talking to myself in this video play music make it like uh, some kind of activities you do give it one hour uh, make it live stream if you like thing if you can live stream your blender or just send this blender into your iPad and then stream it into twitch maybe that will work and uh, yeah you can do whatever with this zentangle keep doing this <laughs> until you feel the rest we if you are doing it like what i'm doing on zuzan you know that's nice uh don't forget this zentangle can be remesh and stuff i'll show you that from here from this curve this is already nice because uh, we are drawing zentangles on top of 3D objects. It still looks like 3D, even if we hide Suzanne, right? But this guy, I will show the effect. Okay, convert to mesh, and then remesh. Okay, I always do this at the very end, and then sculpt, sculpt mode. Create a uh, use the cloth filter inflate, right? We can do that very very quickly very cool you might notice something the inflate is respecting respecting suzanne right suzanne is the collision so this is really cool as you can see oh i have a feeling i have to turn this into collision first collision and then cloth filter sculpt mode use a collisions and then increase this and we have some kind of effects that looks like uh, something inside Akira anime so it is it is colliding right it's colliding with each other and colliding with Suzanne so <laughs> we just create something out of ordinary something as simple as Zentangle is actually, tell you, is actually uh, really showing the complexity of human brain and everyone can do this, right? People forgot, people forgot people can draw even though it's not professionally, it's not always professional but every Zentangle is an artwork so I like that part of that I read from the books and their Zentangles can really, you can really go inside and see other people pattern and see if you can repl replicate that just apply you apply that into your creations play with black and white okay some of them really starting to become like a like an art like a batik kind of art i i batik art can go oh okay <laughs> that's weird batik art batik art um repeating pattern batik art people still do this nowadays okay a batik artist i wish i can do batik you know <laughs> if i have the tools i will draw batik on the fabric and you can sell this from hundreds dollars thousands sometimes it goes up to ten thousand 
There are endless pattern of batik, and batik is really just another variation of Zen tangles. And some batiks actually has gone into computer art, which is, you know, unfortunate. But some people still doing it by hand, and the one by hand is still the most expensive. The ones intricate details with, with computer, maybe less value, but the one with created with hands have some kind of imperfections. And that's really, that's really uh, the thing that I keep hearing, imperfections in, uh, in the artwork. And that's actually a good thing because it's, uh, because it's human. It's human, right? So anyway, so that's Zentangles. Hopefully you find it useful. Uh, try it yourself inside Blender. I'm using Blender 3.6.7. This Blender can be installed and on any computer, even at the Max, uh, the Apple Store. So give it a try and see what you can find. And I want to see your creation. Just post it on Twitter. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.